Uh, until the seats are blue, pressure on the nearby reds to vote blue. I've participated in some of OPA Orange County chapter's events focusing on immigration reform and congressional climate change. And with the, with the congressional climate change deniers, because Congress members in that region need some public attention on their positions on these issues. Ivana Cifuentes, OPA Orange County chapter, organized quite a successful event in Huntington Beach recently, drawing attention to Representative Dana Rohrabacher as a climate denier. Those speakers from the San Francisco's headquarters of the California League of Conservation Voters and the Climate Reality Project. OPA's metric for events is success in getting press coverage or earned media, although it seems all but impossible to get. However, the Orange County Register, as well as Salon, etc., did have stories. Tomorrow, there'll be a follow-up action at Rohrbacher's, uh, coordinated by OFA's Cal California Sasky Young. The OFA Orange County Chapter will also have another in its series of public actions on immigration reform to focus on Irvine's Representative John Campbell and Ed Royce. Uh, recent events regarding this issue with those Congress members garnered plenty of media coverage. Any of you guys want to look at this? Uh, we can post this report on them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, OFA, OFA, OFA is organized for action and consideration. Can you talk loud? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should have been, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're fighting against the wall unit. Uh, I just reiterated the setting in. But OFA is organizing for action, which is the current iteration of the former. Um, there are 501c3 cannot uh, actively support candidates. So that's why we're going a little bit uh, around them. Okay, but we're still working with them. Okay, so that was that report. And I uh, read a little bit. Hey, hello, everybody. Did everybody get a flyer for the uh, fundraiser we're having? No? no? Yes. So here, do we buy? Um, no, it's fine. It's wrong. <laughs> I realized that the one that I had. Nobody look at it because we're not changing it again. <laughs> we have two people watching it. Uh, what this is is the uh, event we're having. Uh, red blue committee. Essentially, what it is, we're turning uh, red seats to blue. And uh, the number one seat in the United States of America to change from red to blue is up in San Bernardino. And he died on Mayor Redlands. It's a Democrat running in that district. Right now we have a Republican there. And we have at the moment, pardon me, is a 10 percent, 10 percent, 10 percent spread, be it Democrat to Republican in voter registration. This is our district. So what we decided to do as a committee and as a club, the club endorsed Peter Aguilar for this congressional seat. Even though it's early on as it is, we need to do all the other Democrats out and get this Democrat in. He's endorsed by the DCCC, which is a Nancy Pelosi Democratic Congressional <coughs> Committee, um, as well as like other organizations, and uh, most of the elected officials within the area, I should say, all of are Democrat. But uh, what we're having, everybody has this in front of them, is a fundraiser. And uh, I, you know, I feel very comfortable we've gone to extreme lengths to make this a successful event. Um, Stuart and Chris Rosen are working diligently on what is uh, public information relative to FEC filings and who donated in the area for uh, up to $30,000. We're inviting people who donated up to $30,000 to Obama to the event and we're personalizing it. Rose and I will be sitting out Saturday and sending out personal invites to the people to attend this event. And if they're not going to attend the event, oh, Mark's going to help us out too. And if they're not going to attend the event, then we're asking for their dinero, their money, and lots of it. And if you look at it, we're kind of having a wine, a wine theme for this. We're hoping to pull in um, or make an impression. We're not make an impression. We're going to give the impression. And, you know, uh, succeed with that is that this is going to be a very stellar, very refined event um, from valley parking to bartending service. Is, uh, you know how it's going to be. We're going to have food provided. Oh, let me we're going to have half a feast provided. Um, our main speaker, of course, is Peter Aguilar. We have confirmed Alan Lowenthal, congressperson. Uh, Janice Hahn, congressperson, and the entire event is going to be held right in this home. And that's on the 28th of September, which is very close, very close. Um, as, club, as the committee, what we're going to be doing at, is selling opportunity drawing tickets. 
which of course all proceeds are going to the Pete Aguilar campaign. We're also having a silent auction. Um, anybody that can contribute or go out amongst the society and get something from a local retailer, local restaurant, local video certificates would be grand. And uh, contribute that. And I do need that a week prior to the event because I'm going to uh, formally uh, draft the um, contribution and the bid forms and have those all ready for that night so it looks very presentable. And when you do look at it in the item, please get business cards, flyers, menus from the establishment so you're getting the, the uh, item from so we can display them and say we're going to market it. Advertise for you. These are going to be Long Beach residents, so a Long Beach establishment would be great and be interested in donating. Um, also, go ahead. A uh, quick sidebar on that. Right now, we have only three people who have uh, made any donations. Yes. So, what is that going to be? Shot. Give me a shout out. One of them is Dee. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other is uh, Shana. Shana's got a couple of gift certificates from the Pop Cup um, Cafe, Brooks Cafe. And uh, OJ Dart, I'm not sure what it is, but it's uh, Visionary Art. A what? It's called Visionary Art. Work. I it's a visionary Art. Visionary Art. Okay, so we have some artwork. Uh, we have some uh, the third person. Third person has donated so far. We've got donations. This is Susan Nefowski. Well, if you remember last time we did this, we did that work. I got there on everything she contributed last time. I wanted it all. On the We're so getting there, but we really yeah. want to. This is a significant aspect of raising money. To get something that's worth something and you charge what it's not worth, the rest of it goes to the Yeah, because yeah, it's all free items. Go ahead, please. Oh, I can donate the season ticket to the Queen Mary. Our plays that we could work at. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. That's all right. That's great. And this, we're taking email with all the information. Things like that, when we would say a ticket or something, we need to amplify through something, some artwork or post or something. Yeah, personally, yeah, something together. I'll get my marketing. Yeah, so you get people, when they go to the table, they'll see something other than a little less. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Go ahead. And then, um, like I said, the event is on the 28th. Um, you can look at all our special guests. Uh, we have our confirmations, and there's a couple things we do need help with. Um, like I said, the, uh, the actual committee is going to be selling up free drawing tickets to every, every one in the committee. Uh, we do need somebody to volunteer to be at the door, and at that door, we want to get all these people's names. It's very important. Every attendee, you take out their name, email, cell phone number, question. Oh, no, I have an idea. Maybe they can have shifts, so they. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so anybody would be interested to be up there like 30 minute shifts. It's, a, you know, it's from 6 yeah, to so 9. Yeah, so we can get some chance. Exactly. So, I'll do one of the shifts. Okay, I'll I'm taking names down right now. So, what's interesting? Let's see. Okay. Dagmar. 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 Dana. And Eileen. Eileen. All right, here's the thing with the uh, with that process that's real important for this event. Like the Portino event, we did not have didn't have a ticket, an injury fee. So when you come out to the front table, what you're going to be doing is not just saying welcome, you want to get your information. By the way, we'd really like you to contribute to the Pete Aguilar campaign. And they'll have envelopes there for his campaign. So it's, you know, they're not forced to give an entry, but if they have 10 bucks or something, we can collect yeah, anything. All right, thank you. We'll have, like a we'll, have it, we'll have it all be organized. Yeah, we'll have a few off of it. Now we had it with um, the yeah, Portantino event. We had the uh, hand that were actually sitting out there the entire time. With the table going lengthwise. And what we'll do is we'll like we'll dictate being inside or outside as the weather. So if it's hot like this, we'll have a table inside here with the air conditioning. And then I'll be able to do that side of the let's have you inside. Hopefully by that small average. Yeah, a little you know, much cooler. Um just one more everybody makes it. Well while you're doing that, let me tell you a little bit about the donor file that uh, Chris was talking about. Um in fact if you remember back in the 10 campaign for Brown and up period. We did a uh, fundraising uh, mailing, uh, and we had very little response to it. Okay, um, this time what we did is we combined the people who donated money to Obama in 08 and 12, and people who donated money to Janice Hahn or Alan Wallenbaum. People living in Long Island, Long Beach addresses, Seal Beach addresses, and Signal Hill. And also, we had a few percent people. You know, uh, there are 485 people on that list that gave more than $500. Okay, so and it goes up and up. So it's really a, it's a it's a really good list, and a lot of people some of us are on there. Okay, 
some, but the point is that we want to nurture that list. We want to get them for this event. We want to explain them. I'm going to do a, a personalized letter to each person on the list and go the supplier that I think some of you saw last time that uh, Maria put together. It's a fabulous uh, using this uh, this logo, the red to blue. Okay. At first I thought, what's that mean? And she said, it's him. I said, well, no wonder I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's like the LBC, okay? So it's the, well, we're the Red and Blue Committee, the Red and Blue Campaign. You can fill in the blank. It's really, it's really cool name. So we're going to use that, and then we're also going to hit them back up, because I know I'm being good to membership classes in our arena. So we will also send out a membership solicitation to those folks, too. We want to get them involved. This is about the money, okay? Thank you. Yeah, it's not very Okay, yeah, and anybody who uh, is going to be contributing for the sign-up option, please email me and just tell me um, up front what the item is, what, um, please give me your name, address, occupation, and uh, employer, or retired, and then, um, actually, no, I'm going to that. If you are personally contributing something, you need that information. If you get it from an establishment, uh, retail, whatever type of um, private entity, I just need their information, address, and where it's located. And then I need the actual value of the items. And then, uh, or also you need to let him know why you're not if you're not doing this. Because all you need to do is you go to your favorite restaurant or your favorite saloon or your favorite uh, cruise ship company. It's just go, no, there's a snake in my boat. Be in bed and think outside the box. It could be a flower shop. It could be, you know, a massage place or a nail salon. It could be any place that you personally frequent. You're a customer of this place, and you say, hey, you know, we need some help here. All right? We really need the more participation, the stronger it will be. Thank you. Okay. You know, also, like, I need to say that, you know, what uh, I, Sam, her husband and herself have a catering business. And she said she's going to contribute it like a dinner for two. And then what popped in my head was, whoa, I'm going to go down uh, over where I live, down the Beaumont Shore Morning Corner, and ask the um, gondolier oh, yeah, or over across the bay, over by McKenna's, the, um, the uh, dumpy boat, and say they will donate like an hour. Because that's what we do is try to clump items together. So I'll do the dinner for two, cater, and then the Duffy Boat ride, or the Duffy things like that. So that's that's how we sell these things. You say, oh, the Duffy Boat ride, 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 so as you, all, as you all know, one of the objectives for Yes We Can is to get the money out of politics, and we want to ultimately uh, amend the Constitution to say corporations are not people and money's not speech. But this group we're working on now is working here locally to, our first goal is to pass a resolution through the City Council of Long Beach to overturn Citizens United. And what we're... So what we're doing is we're meeting one-on-one -on -one with the city council people, one by one by one, and making a presentation to them. We have a packet like this, and it has lots of information and background. It uh, tells you what cities in California have already passed such a resolution. It tells you what states have passed this resolution. And uh, it gives you a, a examples of actual resolutions that other cities have passed. That have so it. that have actually done it. So uh, we've given them a generic kind of Long Beach resolution. We're trying to keep it really tight so that we make sure it gets passed. Uh, but we know that it's going to be rewritten by the city attorney and various other people. But we we met with five uh, city council people so far, and four of the five have definitely said they want to support it. Some want to champion. Can you name us who those five are? Yes, we met with uh, Jerry Shipsky, who definitely wants to support it. We met with um, Robert Garcia, who would like to support it. 
Uh, we've met with the uh, chief of staff in James Johnson's office. He wants to take it through the legislative, the federal legislative committee first. So that's one option, which we're talking about. And then, yeah, 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 we heard that. And then uh, we met with uh, we met with O'Donnell, uh, his chief of staff, uh, Rick Bridget. And we and she was the only one that was non-committal. Uh, no, staff Bridget, Bridget from, uh, from O'Donnell's. And then we met with um, Al Austin, who wants to be our champion. He wants to take it all the way through. So, so we're work, that's what we're working on right now. We think there's Al Austin. After we get this done, we're going to get this done before the end of the year. Okay. Once we get that done, then we can move on to phase two, which is more about mobilizing, getting the vote out. We have a city election where less than 20% of the people come and vote. Wow. Think of that number, 20%. So we think that we can do a lot of things about using this issue to mobilize people. And Carol? Um, we might mention that when we do it on the agenda for the city council meeting, yes. um, yeah. we would like lots of people to show up. Yes. Um, yes. And a lot of people. And for us, your support. We'll try to give you as much notice. If they can give you a week's notice, we will. But if not, be on the lookout. We'll send you a real Bright and cheery email so you won't miss it. So city council meetings are the first, second, and third Tuesdays of the month. Yeah. So be on alert. You're on alert. And you, want, and you want to let us know if or you want us to get the girl to stand and speak. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. will be doing yeah. that. Exactly. So we'll put all that information in each. Cut it out. That's what you think it will be. October. We're going to get it passed before Christmas. So it's going to be done. Let's promise. Well, well, did you go okay. to Gary? I'm going to Gary the Long. Yeah, Gary the Long. Monday. 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 Have a look at that. Okay. Oh, okay. You're still on track? Monday, 2 o'clock. Bye bye. We're actually a minute ahead. Really? Cindy, I'm here another minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Can I talk a second? I'm, I'm not on the agenda, but you know, I'm live streaming it. If you ever miss a meeting, just go to your computer and you can watch it as it's happening. And it's being recorded too, so we can watch it after the meeting. Oh, we got another applause for this gentleman because I want to tell you, if you don't have anything, we've had a real tight agenda this This guy has gotten a web, web items. He's gotten crazy. <laughs> he is like going, I mean, I get four or five emails of, did you check the site eight seconds ago? There's something new, you know. I get on there. It's real, it's incredible. You uh, need to look on yeah. our site look at every our few page. minutes. <laughs> Just to keep up with what's going on. I'm serious, it's incredible. It's outrageous. Bravo. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Stuart will post that on the calendar. Remember, there's a calendar feature on the website. 
Yes, we collect body from the back blue or direct mail. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, by the way, if you have people who want to uh, sign up for, it's on the flyer, but we are able to collect money through our Blue account. Yes. We also will take checks sent to this address, 618 Ohio, to my personal name. <laughs> clean. Uh, but basically, there are lots of ways you can get money. All right. Next is the mayoral debate. Uh, Peggy. I only have two minutes, so I'll be really brief. Um, we decided already that the, the mayor of the day will be at the First Congregational Church. It will seat up to 750. The cost, though, and we would like to get four hours. It's $100 an hour, and $25 an hour for the custodian to clean up afterwards. So what we need is I'm asking for somebody to make a motion <laughs> uh, for $500 to meet that expense so we can reserve it. I have it tentatively uh, reserved until tomorrow, and then if I don't contact them and reserve it, then we lose it. Okay, for those that we spend up to $500 on a memorial date in February, whatever date we've done. That was long. Go ahead. Are there nonprofit organizations that you can partner with? Like, 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 Okay, so right now, yes, we can is the only sponsor of this debate. So, well, actually, the person mentioned to me at the local fundraiser that Lambda Tori Allen from the Community Student Party Network was going to be there. And she might be able to share some of the costs with Lambda. And do we have a, 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 a specific date? I'm oh, sorry, you guys said I can hear you. February 28th, 2011. And this is open to Democrats and Republicans? Yes. And do we have confirmation of home candidates? I have sorry, I'm going to ask the I need to get the reservation first. Okay. Sarah, you need an invitation. And my last one being treasurer, do we get a refund? If we put the deposit down, what's the refund policy? Yeah, no, that's the class uh, per hour. Yeah, but if we put, if they want to deposit or not? They're not at, well, I'm not sure. We're not there yet. Okay, well, yeah. we'll get oh, okay. okay. So 500 is the total cost of just having the venue. Just reserve okay. the venue. My motion was up to 500. Uh, okay. uh, course, course, including. I would assume that even, uh, if, even if this is done in collaboration with other organizations, we could do a pass the hat donation just to cover the one cost at the event. So we don't have to come totally out of work. Exactly. We but in, in one of our meetings, we mentioned that we could have a can or something like that said pass the hat or have a legitimate uh, suggested entry fee, say, or something like that, of $2 or $3 or something. We didn't mention that. We haven't fleshed it out. But there are ways to get some money. Now, is that, is, is that kosher of the church? Do you do that? Uh, we'll find out. Okay. We've got to make sure we're going to put this quick money in there. We didn't ask you if you were going to sell tickets. So, I don't know if we consider selling tickets or a donation. No, no, no. We'll work out the details, but the conceptual, conceptually, what we're being asked to do is underwrite this. Hopefully, we'll have some other after revenue.
Anyway, 